Brookings. Uh, some years ago, uh, I, I wrote it down, a living will, wished not to be resuscitated. Now, where is it? Where's my file? How do I find it? Well, you know, that's a common problem, actually. People arrive in the ICU and they don't have their paperwork, or they have paperwork and it was dated, you know, 1972. Yeah. You know, and, and so th that's the take home here. If you don't have an up to date living will or advanced directive, go get one. And, and then do what a lot, of, a lot of our family members do. I'm sure this is true for you. My mom has an envelope with all of her papers that's taped right by the front door. So anyone who walks into that apartment, big red envelope, it's right there. <laughs> or so, in the refrigerator. There's some people who keep them in yeah. a little uh, container. In the so it's a good question. And it's a real problem because someone comes to us without an advanced directive and the family is on their way, and I have a patient who's right in front of me, do I intubate them or not? Yeah. I don't know the and answer. And they can't tell you. And they can't tell me, and so the answer is get it updated. Yeah, yeah. talk to your doctor uh, about this though, and it really should be updated <clears throat> frequently. I think, I think we need to t you know, talk to our family about this issue, not infrequently. What kind of an end of life would I like to have? And you know what I ask people to do? Get it updated every two years. That's it good. really helps me if the date on it is 2013 yeah. and not 1992. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think the, the key yeah. there is to talk about it as well so that yeah. when, when mom or dad is at your door and the, the kids are coming from out of town, you may talk to them on the phone. They've talked about it enough where they know and they can yeah. talk to you. I, I think that's important. I, I really think it's, it, it, it isn't as great of a legal document as it is an encouragement to talk to your family. That's right. the key. I, I think agree with you about that. And the other part of it is designate someone as power of attorney. So there's a go-to person that you can talk to, that I can talk to, right. that you can talk to. Right. 